The Holocaust isn't about race. No. No. It's well, not about maybe race. Maybe well, yeah. no, it's Jews about a different it's, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. But it's about white supremacy. It's well, about but going it's not, after it's Jews not about and ideal and race. It's it's then then but these are two Romans. white groups of people. Whoopi Goldberg has been suspended from hosting The View for two weeks after she apologized for her comments on air about the Holocaust when she falsely said it was not about race, despite the killing of an estimated six million Jews. Joining us now is Holocaust survivor Sammy Steigman. Sammy, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, before I get your reaction to Whoopi Goldberg's comments, you are a survivor of the Holocaust. You were an infant when it happened, spent the early years of your life in a Nazi labor camp. What can you share from your story that's important to remember today? Uh, the life uh, was extremely difficult. In, okay, in the concentration camps and the labor camps. The labor camps, you, for practical purposes, you were a slave, okay? And uh, a lot of people died also through attrition. And that was, uh, uh, for instance, uh, beaten to death, worked to death, starved to death. Uh, in my particular case, because I was so young and I could not work, uh, every survivor who will ask him, how come you're alive today, they will say, luck. My luck was I was never separated from my parents. I was subjected to medical experiments. I would feel those experiments for the rest of my life. And at the same time, I also teach the young people not to stereotype because a German woman at the risk of her entire family's life, okay, uh, her life decided uh, to give me milk when she saw the physical signs mm. that I'm dying of starvation. Wow. Uh, so life uh, was not easy. Also, people were shot randomly and everything else. So sure. Right. And, and then when we hear these comments uh, about the Holocaust today and even some comparisons uh, to Nazi Germany and to Hitler and to the Holocaust in general, it can invoke this sort of emotion uh, because they're unfair comparisons or they're false. I know you're a part of the Blue Card. It's a national nonprofit group. It supports more than 3,000 Holocaust survivors. And your group recently wrote a letter uh, which includes Holocaust victims to Whoopi Goldberg. This follows her suspension and her comments, of course, uh, the letter saying in part, we are a group of Jewish Holocaust survivors who came from various countries to the United States after enduring the atrocities committed by the Nazi regime during the Holocaust. We have all heard your comments about how the Holocaust was not about race and instead was about man's inhumanity to man. We are deeply hurt by these inaccurate assertions, but nevertheless would like to extend our hands to you so we can offer some insight and can help you during this moment of growth. Sammy, you're offering to have a conversation with Whoopi. Uh, why did you do that? First of all, uh, I don't believe that she should have been suspended. I don't believe in punishment, but I believe in education. And unfortunately, there is a huge lack of education when it comes to Holocaust and genocide. Uh, I don't believe that uh, Whoopi is uh, an anti-Semite. I don't believe that uh, she intentionally tried to hurt anybody or something else, but her choice of words are extremely damaging, especially for the next generation. Uh, one of the things that's happening today because of the social media, uh, a lot of the people do not do the research mm -hmm. and they take at face value what somebody like her that is a celebrity has a following of millions of people all over the world. Uh, okay, they will take everything at face value. At the same time, there are also certain anti-Semites that will use her words and use it against the Jewish people and everything else. Uh, the young people, they are not doing the research. They mostly use slogans. And when they hear something, okay, coming from somebody like uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Obviously, they will accept it as a fact. As a matter of fact, Joseph Gables, the minister of propaganda under Hitler, he said something that we have to remember today. A lie told long enough, okay, 
becomes truth. Mm -hmm. And this is what's important. And from my perspective, what we have to do, we have to learn from the past, okay, to be able to see the signs of today that can lead to other tragedies and to know how to prevent them. Yeah. Uh, people like Whoopi Goldberg, other celebrities, people in power, and I can give an example with people in power that use the wrong words that perpetuate false narratives. Mm -hmm. so, so the education, yeah, okay, education, self education, self, self yes. education, or like for instance, uh, to come in a panel to talk to them in person and everything else, it's extremely important because our future, in my opinion, is the next generation. Yeah, so and well. We don't teach them, don't teach them the right things. They will perpetuate false narratives, and uh, we want to prevent that. Well, it's so well said, and you're so right. Uh, look back at the history. Talk to people who have lived through it. They have those personal experiences like you do, Sammy. And we appreciate you taking the time. Sammy Stegman. May thanks. I say something? May I say something? About really quick. The, uh, uh, Blue Card. There are many organizations, mm -hmm. okay, that help uh, survivors. I live under the poverty line and I live alone. Blue Card, on the other hand, is the only organization that helped me. Okay, they paid for uh, the, the computer. Uh, they, they provided me with a uh, life alert. At the same time, okay, a, a monthly uh, uh, money, you know, for his groceries and everything else. And the interesting part is they did it without me, okay, asking for help. I wow. did not ask for help. I'm one of the very few of them. So it's a, absolutely a wonderful organization, and I'm extremely honored to be part of their speakers you know we've got the website at the bottom of the screen uh, encourage everyone to check it out sammy thank you so much for joining us today and thank you Thanks. for inviting me You're very welcome. thank you